All right, we are recording. Good morning, everybody. Boys, say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I got the boys with me. We are heading to the YMCA. Dun, 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 dun. YMCA. Okay. Hey, Dad, anyway. Pause nope, we're not pausing the video. We are going to get this rolling. We're heading to the gym. Boys are going to go to the kids' corner. I don't want to go in the basketball court. Oh, you want to go in the basketball court? Me too. Well, you can't go in the basketball court without me. You guys aren't quite old enough yet. I am. And okay, pretty soon, they'll be lifting some weights, right, boys? Yeah. 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 I don't know. You gotta get a couple years older. Uh, one, one, no, out. You know what? Maybe. Do you guys want me to get you a weight set for the basement, and you guys can lift weights at home? Yeah. Of course. We already do. Oh, you don't do much. Okay, we'll have work on that. Anyway, so we're heading to the Y. I'm gonna get a workout in. Then we gotta do some more Christmas shopping. <laughs> get a few things. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah, they got yeah, some was, money yeah, from great grandma and grandpa. Yeah, I was buying that dollars. <coughs> yeah, they got some great money from great grandma and grandpa. They want to go, go spend. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, today on the docket for what I have is just uh, it's not part of the the normal schedule. It's one of my extra days of doing some lifts of you know some biceps, shoulder work, abs, calves, forearms. So I'm gonna get that stuff in. Uh, no tennis practice today. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And so we are doing our presents on Christmas Eve. What day is it? Today is the t December 23rd. Today is a uh, cousin. Yes, two days till Christmas. Yeah. Today's oh. cousin Gunther's birthday. You know that? What? Cousin what? Gunther, yeah. So we'll have to. Cousin Gunther's birthday is on. It's today. So we'll call him up. He's at his military base. So we'll call him up. So their cousin, or um, my cousin, their second cousin, or whatever that works. Uh, he's a marine, uh, so we'll give him a call. It's his birthday today. But anyway, so going to go push, get the pump going, yeah. get a good working out. No, I'm not gonna box. Yeah, because you said you're gonna push. Pump, I said pump. Oh. Get a pump. Get a pump, pump, pump. Talk about your work things. Talk about my work things. What should we talk about for work stuff? Hmm. Wait, no, I want. It's my turn. What's the topic? What's the topic we should talk about? So one of the things no, I, <coughs> what I do with my boys, you know, is try to get them into the business mindset a little bit. Uh, so what do you guys think we should talk about? It's my turn to choose, right, Dad? Sure. And Dad is. I'm trying to think. Hmm. How to get um, people to, um, to like, get stuff. What do you mean get stuff? Like going to like the good, like. It's hard to explain. Okay, well. Okay, I'm able to like, you know, do the thing you do, like do your work. How they do my work? No, but, no, no, like, no, Dad, I'll tell you. How they get people to, do you no. know what I mean? No, but I will. Like, how I to get topic. people to like buy stuff from you. Oh, how to get people to buy stuff from you? So if they had to choose between you and somebody else, like why would they work with you? Is that what yeah. you mean? Okay, and so Lincoln, Lincoln say hi. And Lincoln wants us to talk about how do you get somebody, a prospect, to decide to work with you versus working with somebody else. Well, let's talk about that. Well, one is that you'll never bat 1,000, meaning that you'll never get every single person to work with you. you Got to remember that. Doesn't mean it's an excuse not to do a good job, uh, but you're not going to get every person to work with you. One of the reasons why is that not every single person should work with you. And that sometimes means that your option is not the right option for them. Now, when it comes to a sales, being a salesperson, the first and foremost is that you need to have a product or a service that you really believe in and that really will help people and be beneficial to them. There's nothing great about makes you a good salesperson if you can sell inferior products and services to somebody that doesn't meet a need that they have. You have to remember that. That's that's first and a priority. We got to be doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is always the right thing. Okay, but <clears throat> excuse me. So what do you do? We I like to use is what I call the diagnosis remedy sales method. And this is simply is that you think of yourself as a doctor. Now I'm not literally a doctor, obviously, but think of yourself as a doctor. And when you're meeting with a doctor. And you go in there because there's something, you have a problem, right? 
And the doctor asks you lots of questions. The doctor is not telling you about, hey, I got my degree here. I went to school all these years. I've been practiced for how long? They don't ask any of that or say any of that stuff. They're not ta uh, talking, they're asking questions. Okay, when did you first start having this problem? As it pro progressed, what's the pain level right now? What have you tried to do to fix it? So on and so forth, right? They're asking those questions. Why are they asking those questions? It's because to get a better understanding of the pains that you are experiencing, how it's impacting your life. And then from that, the goal is for them to, to their diagnosing the problem, the goal is then for them to provide a remedy, a remedy that will fix the problem. And we do the same thing from a sales standpoint, is that we wanna diagnose the problem is what, what's their problem, how long have they been having it, what issues is it causing for them, you know, what would things be like if they had it fixed and it, it better, and from there, then we can diagnose their problem, and then we can prevent or provide a solution, our remedy to solve it. Like for a doctor, it might be a certain health plan or prescription or something. In our case, it's our service. And then we have to match, match our solution to their problems and say, hey, you have this problem, here's how my solution solves that problem. And then you have to get their commitment and ask them, would you find this beneficial? And they say, yes, you got them. And then you go for the close. All right, we are at the Y. Boys, have any last things you wanna to say to everybody? Um, Just follow what my dad said and it'll come with more videos soon. All right, that was Lincoln. Roman, anything? <laughs> okay, okay, these little piggy. Do 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 the train, bro. I want to say what? something. No, I want to say something good. Okay, you're doing great. Just please follow what my dad said, and you'll do great. I want to do. Okay. I just wanna Thank say, you, and buddy. And believe in yourself that you can do it. Wait, good I job, buddy. One, two, back of my shoes, three, oh, four, man, that's not... back some more, five, six, nine kids, kicks. Oh, bro, yeah, that I'm is kidding. so funny. All right, that's it. No, no more things. We're gone. Merry Christmas, everybody.